Any concerns with long-term high free T total T levels regarding cardiac remodeling? This would be pertaining to symptom resolution and regarding testosterone only, no AIs. This is the TRT and Hormone Optimization YouTube channel. And if you want to learn all about the science-based information on this topic, consider subscribing, hit that notification bell, and you'll be on your way. Again, he used the word high. He didn't give specifics. He put uh, high between... Um... What's high to my, my, my uh, primary care is 800. What's high to me is 2,500. I mean, probably. I mean, if you're going to live in the 3,000 range for 20 years, I would be very surprised if you don't experience some level of LVH, maybe cardiomegaly, maybe some, some plaque buildup or arteriosclerosis, maybe some hypertension over time. I would be surprised if you live that long. And, and again, this, you may be genetically predisposed to being totally fine until you're 90 years old. Over the course of many subjects in a trial of elevated, grossly elevated T levels, yeah, I would think that you're probably going to take, uh, you're going to trade years on the back end for quality today. Probably. Maybe. Probably. Yeah. Big probably. Yeah. Jordan, agree? I do. I mean, again, it's all relative, right? What, where's that, where's that line? Where does it become pathologic? Uh, we don't know. I mean, that's why, and, and again, most guys don't need to, I don't see guys needing to be at 3000 to feel better. I, I don't, uh, on average, I'd say, but I mean, you know, we use free tea now talking about 25 to 40 or 25 to 50, somewhere in that range, but for total on average on the bell curve, thousand to eighteen hundred somewhere in the middle in there i'll usually see guys with symptom resolution and they go higher and they don't feel as well that's and that's me too like i know if my free t gets over 45 i i don't feel as well as i, I don't feel bad but i don't feel right you know what i mean there's a there's a fine line there i could tell you when my free t was over 100 i couldn't sleep well yep. i didn't feel well i had anxiety i was short-tempered i just i you know i would hyperventilate yep me too and i just you know my my, my pulse was higher I didn't, oh, yeah. like it. I didn't like it. It was exactly. done for a reason for a short period back in the day, and I didn't like it. Yep, so. same here. I played with high doses, and I know I don't feel as well. I know there's guys on bodybuilding forums like, I feel amazing on a gram a week. It's like, okay, but most guys aren't going to feel that way. And I, you we feel amazing it. during your workout, and then yeah, exactly. you have 23 hours fighting. Yeah, yeah you feel amazing because you're seeing changes in the mirror, and it's exciting and all that, but long term, it, you don't because your penis doesn't work, and you don't sleep, and I mean, just – you ch start chasing your tail from side effects. So, um, I mean, we've got one study on 600 milligrams a week for 20 weeks, no detrimental effects, but 20 weeks is nothing compared to lifetime. So you do have to, I mean, testosterone still, I think it's, it's safer than people make it out to be, right? But there are gonna be consequences going really super physiologic for a long time, in my opinion. Uh, that's not a fact, that's just an opinion. No one bats an eye over a diabetic injecting insulin. Yet we know that if I move a decibel point over one spot on an insulin administration, I will kill you. Yeah. And you can give me three vials of testosterone today and I'll have a bad week. That's yeah. bad. Yeah. So. yeah. So it's, it's more of a chronic thing. And there's other factors that are gonna come into play. What did you do when you were on that testosterone? How did you live? How did you eat? How did you work out? How much weight did you gain? all kinds of stuff. So everybody's different. There's guys that have taken high dose testosterone for 30 years and are fine as far as we know, you know, and so. All right, guys. Well, do this next. Click on one of these thumbnails to learn a ton more about TRT and hormone optimization. Thanks.